dear students in this lecture we are going to see the derivation of characteristic wave impedance of te and tm waves in rectangular wave gate in the previous video we have derived the characteristic wave impedance of the same te and tm waves between parallel planes now let us look into the derivation of characteristic wave impedance of te and tm waves passing between rectangular wave gate we know the definition of characteristic wave impedance right it is represented as z is equal to the ratio of electric field in one direction to the magnetic field in the other direction we can also express this as z is equal to minus ey divided by hx these are the two ways in which characteristic wave impedance can be expressed now let us derive the characteristic impedance for tm waves in tm waves the field components ey and hx exist therefore the formula for finding the characteristic impedance for tm waves will be z is equal to minus ey divided by hx we have derived the field component equations for tm waves now from that derivation we can take and write the equation for ey and hx ey is given by ey is equal to minus j beta divided by h square ac sin bx cos ay e power minus j beta z similarly hx the field component hx for tm wave is given by j omega epsilon divided by h square ac sin bx cos ay e power minus j beta z now substituting the values of ey and hx in this equation z is equal to minus j beta already we have a negative sign here so we can write this as minus of minus j beta divided by h square into ac sin bx cos ay e power minus j beta z divided by j omega epsilon divided by h square ac sin bx cos ay e power minus j beta z now in these two terms this will be cancelling with each other j gets cancelled h square will also get cancelled minus into minus will become plus and the equation for characteristic impedance of tm wave can be written as beta divided by omega epsilon now for rectangular wave guide beta is given by root of omega square mu epsilon minus m pi by a the whole square minus n pi by b the whole square beta can uh, can either be expressed in this using this formula or we can write beta as omega root mu epsilon root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square these are the two ways in which beta can be expressed for rectangular wave guide now we are going to make use of this expression for finding the characteristic impedance the value of characteristic impedance becomes z tm characteristic impedance of tm is equal to beta by beta by mu epsilon so it becomes omega root mu epsilon into root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square divided by the denominator we have omega into epsilon omega and omega will be getting cancelled with each other and we can write this as root of 
mu epsilon divided by epsilon square. Bringing this epsilon inside the square root, we will get this term into root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. Therefore, the characteristic wave impedance of Tm wave can be written as this gets cancelled. So, it will be root of mu by epsilon root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. We know that root of mu by epsilon is equal to eta. Therefore, the final expression for characteristic impedance of Tm wave is nothing but eta into root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. This is the equation for characteristic impedance for Tm waves. As a second case, let us derive the characteristic wave impedance for Te waves. Now for Te waves, the components Ex and Hy exist. Now since these two components are existing for Tm waves, the formula to find the characteristic wave impedance of Te waves will be Ex divided by Hy. Let us write the field equation for Ex and Hy. Ex is given by j omega mu divided by h square ac cos bx sin ay e power minus j beta z and hy is given by j beta divided by h square ac cos bx sin ay e power minus j beta z. Substituting these two values in this equation, z te is given by j omega mu divided by h square ac cos bx sin ay e power minus j beta z divided by j beta divided by h square ac cos bx sin ay e power minus j beta z. Right? Now, this and this gets cancelled. j gets cancelled. h square will also get cancelled. And you will get the equation for the characteristic impedance of T e wave as omega mu divided by beta. We know that beta is equal to omega root mu epsilon root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. Now substitute this value of beta here. We will get z te. Characteristic impedance of te wave is omega mu divided by omega root mu epsilon root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. Omega gets cancelled and we will get Z T E as root of mu square divided by mu epsilon. I have taken, uh, have brought this mu inside the square. So mu square by mu epsilon into 1 divided by root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. So we can write this as this mu gets cancelled, you will get it as mu by epsilon into 1 divided by root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. Therefore, characteristic wave impedance of T waves will be equal to eta divided by root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square. Now, this is the Equation for characteristic impedance of T e waves. Now, in this lecture, we have derived the characteristic impedances of T m wave as well as T e waves in rectangular waveguide.
For Tm way, the expression is given by eta into root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. For Te waves, it is given by eta divided by root of 1 minus Fc by F the whole square. Hope you have understood. Thank you.